You've picked a fun episode to watch today. Who doesn't love a good before and after video? They're enjoyable because you can talk back at the screen and say, why'd they do that? Or, wow, that looks amazing. We all do it. It's kind of like a car crash. You just can't look away. Welcome to our master bedroom suite. This area consists of four rooms on two floors connected by a spiral staircase. The office and junk room upstairs, but in this video, we redo the dressing room and bedroom. First up, the dressing room. It was a very sad place to lay our clothes. Heck, it was a sad place just to stand in. We've gone ahead and removed a doorway that led to the bedroom in order to create more wall space. After the walls were repaired, I painted. This room is done. It's been yes. painted. The wall has been repaired. Mm -hmm. Looks good. Yeah. You can't tell there used to be a doorway there, which is um, a good thing. That was the goal. That was the goal. But now I've just broken the news to Lincoln <laughs> that I will be repainting this room. <laughs> I know you're probably thinking, what? You're crazy. I've lived with it for a couple of days. It's the way the light comes in and I, I don't like it. It's, it's very yellow and... Well, it's yellow-ish. It, it's an off-white, but... It's got it a very yellow. strong yeah. yellow undertone. And every time I walk in, I just see it screams, yellow room, yellow room, yellow room. <laughs> it reminds me of... Not that it's a bad memory, but it reminds me of uh, being a kid. I had yellow Holly Hobby sheets. <laughs> I had yellow Ethan Allen furniture. You know, I had like a matching desk, a chair, a dresser. I like a bright yellow. So sure. I've just added a bunch of work for myself. Mm -hmm. You don't yeah. care either way. Well, no, I, can. <laughs> I want you to be happy. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to hear me complain. So I um, started painting late last night. So I have one more coat to do, but you can really see the difference, the paint. And I'm happy I decided to go with the white. This is our dressing room. Ta-da! This room was a bit of an afterthought. When we decided to do the bedroom, we weren't even going to do this room, but then I thought about it and said, well, it would make so much sense um, just to have a nice space for our clothes. I've mentioned this in a previous vlog, but this room is our future master bathroom. It's not on the agenda for maybe a year or two since we have to install a separate foss from the main one. So it's sort of on the back burner. It's something we want to do. I have design ideas in my mind. We can live with the other bathrooms that we have. So this is sort of a temporary dressing room. We didn't want to install any, what are they called? Closet, closet systems. Is that what they call it? A closet system. We didn't want to install anything. So we just kind of kept it free form. So we didn't want to put anything permanent in. I mean, we, we bought these, these racks I'm, I'm not going to lie, I bought these at Ikea because they, they were kind of the only ones I liked the style of. This is an armoire that I originally bought for our kitchen. The kitchen isn't complete yet, so I thought I would steal it from the Grand Salon. And um, we have some purses. Well, Lincoln doesn't wear a purse, but sweaters, uh, hats, gloves, that sort of thing. This is kind of a nice piece we just picked up. This has really good storage as well. We do want to get a couple of pegs for here, something that would you'd be able to hang your clothes 
on the wall, but multiple layers. The other thing that was important to us was to have a, a little coffee maker up here as well. It's nice in the winter time when you don't really want to walk down to a cold kitchen <laughs> so you can have your coffee here. We have finally transformed our bedroom from a horrifying black hole into a restful, uncluttered space, something we desperately needed. Before we started this project, I wanted to find a high quality, breathable paint that was water-based and environmentally friendly. I discovered Earthborn, a British company, and their products ticked all of our boxes. Being clay-based was a plus for our very old plaster walls. If you happen to be in France and find purchasing British paint difficult after Brexit, check out a company called English Paint Delivered to France. I've included all the information below. If you're in the U.S., Earthborn will ship directly to you as well. No, thank you. Oh, okay. My snack. Mm, I know that. <laughs> We're done. Well, done with the painting. Well, yeah. So the, this is the fun part, though, putting all the furniture in. Yeah. And deciding where it's going to go. Mm -hmm. oh, and, then yeah. and then posting it on YouTube for people to um, tell you, you do you've done it all wrong. <laughs> you, sh you should not have the chair there. That's wrong. <laughs> We there actually, are rules. There are rules. We like your comments, but so, some some people are a little over the top with, um, <laughs> it has to be like this. Yeah, so we've had a busy few days. We're tired. Mm -hmm. I think we should just change the name of the vlog to the We're Tired channel. Because <laughs> every time we're talking to you guys, it's like, oh, we're tired. Yeah. We don't mean to complain. We're not complaining. We're just, um, we've been working hard getting this done. I'm going to have my snacks. <laughs> Yes. Maybe can. we maybe we can get a sponsor. <laughs> what was the most challenging part of uh, this room? I did some painting and I made a mess of myself. Since I decided to um, repaint the dressing room, I added right. like half a day too. So for me, the most challenging thing was the paint too. It was this was a tough room to paint for some reason. I don't know why. Well, it's large. It, it was in such terrible shape, I think. Um, yeah. The walls were just black, and but it's it's we've transformed it. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Finish up. I'm trying to take apart your. Oh, that's that's very. It's wrapped up like Fort Knox. It's. Yeah. I'm impressed. This is like. No room for error.
Pardon the interruption, but if you're enjoying this video, please don't forget to subscribe and press the like button. It helps our small channel grow and you'll see our renovations, cute animals, garden porn, and sometimes we even leave the chateau and go somewhere. Now back to the video. I think we're finished and let's go to sleep. <laughs> So the wall color is sort of a bluish green and that color is called grassy. And the walls we wanted sort of an off white and chose this, this beautiful color and it's called Flutterby. And it's, it's a white, but it's got slight pink undertones, which I really like. I wasn't 100% sure I was gonna be on board with it, but cause it's, cause pink is usually uh, not a color I would, would choose normally, but I do love this and the pink undertones warm the room up. We have some amazing paints. They're clay based and it's all natural. And I just absolutely love this paint. This will be the paint we use from now on. They have a great selection of colors. And when I was in here painting, my, one of my daughters walked in and she said, there's, there's no smell. So normally you walk into a room and when someone's painting, and it stinks. Um, so that was a huge plus. And the paint is just gorgeous. It goes on well. I highly recommend them. Um, I'm not just saying that. It's just, it was a real treat to be able to, to paint with this, with this paint. The other reason I chose them is because their paints are breathable. And these walls are made of plaster. So paint can be tricky with these walls. So I was, I was glad to find that it was clay based and breathable. Thumbs up for them. Thanks Earthborn and French paint delivered. <laughs> so when I thought about designing this room, I wanted it to be sort of hotel ish, not a lot of clutter just a clean, serene space. So um, I'm hoping I can keep the clutter down to a minimum. I hope these chairs don't end up with uh, clothes piled on top, but that's why we created our new dressing room. So we are super thrilled with this room. Um, this is a small closet. Unfortunately, these closets are pretty shallow. So for now, we just have some shoes in here and we literally just moved in, so this is not really finished. So that's a tiny closet, which is nice to have. And then we have the sitting area uh, for Fig. He's got his blanket. I have a feeling these chairs are gonna be draped with blankets soon so the cats don't get to them, but that's sort of living with cats. We position these chairs here just because of the view and it's nice to look out. I don't see the donkeys. Normally I can see them roaming, but they're not. They might be in their house because it's raining. So this bed is one we've had for quite some time. It's a queen-sized bed. It's an American-sized bed. 
we do need to get a larger bed, but I haven't found anything I really like yet. Plus, I have a lot of lovely uh, linen sheets that <laughs> I hate to get rid of uh, because they were kind of expensive. So then that means I need to upgrade all my linen. And if you think my duvet cover is wrinkly, it's because it is. <laughs> all my sheets are linen because they keep us cool in the summer and warm in the winter. And I just like the way they feel. Um, unfortunately, the sizes here in Europe are different than the US. So I tend to get my sheets from the United States. I do find that linens here are very expensive compared to the United States. But the reason I do linen is because I am a terrible bed maker and I'm the person in the morning that just puts the duvet back and throws the pillows on. So for everyday use, it's just not practical for me to make a pristine bed because I don't like my sheets tucked in. I'm <laughs> one of those people that gets into the bed and rips out all the sheets. So this is just really the way we live uh, on a daily basis, just with sort of wrinkly linen, which I kind of like. How do you guys do your beds? Do you make them every day and tuck the sheets in? Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. And if you have something to say, leave us a comment.